Hi guys. Today is January the 23rd and I'm on a water fast right now. Um, got a lot of stuff going on in me and got a lot of mucus so ooh, it's not a pretty day. But I'm kind of trying to get my ginger juice over here and I have not since I tore apart the kitchen and rebuilt it really used this machine that I bought. It was one on Dan, Dan McDonald's page, and it was pretty recommended. And um, when I first got it, I think I used it quite a bit because it was so handy. But man, I'm having some problems remembering how to put it all together. I don't think I suggest this one to anybody new to juicing because you'll get frustrated and want to quit right away. But um. I'm going to step over here and try to get it back together. Hi, guys. I um, hope I'm not cutting my head off. Cutting my head off? Let me see. Oh, just my batteries. I need to find my tripod, which is at the other. I don't think I'm cutting my head off. Okay. Mucus forming in my house. All right. I'm trying to get this together. God, Jason put in a lot of these protective. Alright, this is it. I used to call it my little beetle bug. And, um, where's my rag? And I like it because it seemed like it was portable. That, uh, don't worry if I can't get. Oh, we haven't finished this yet. That's why it looks like that. Um, I printed out the, uh, it gets dirty quick. <sighs> printed out the instructions and of course then I misplaced those. I used it once that day. Ah. And it's there's a lot of instructions like this. I'm looking, I'm looking, and I'm looking. Where I possibly could have put in those new instructions. That's a uh, Manual for a Vix warm steam vapor. Anyway, like I said, I'm on a water fast today, <clears throat> and I want to juice some ginger. And I figure I'd just get this one out. It's easier to take care of. With sadly, I have no idea how to get it back together. Did you see all these parts? Yes. So it's. <clears throat> I mean, does this go first, or... Okay, maybe that one does go first. All right, let me, let me think. I recommend you, whenever you get something like this, take it apart and put it back together quite a few times. I mean, because this is, this is crazy on my part, spending all this money, and I have no idea how to use it. <sighs> very frustrating and makes you not want to put it together. And you know what, now I ordered this one, I thought I had two of these. So it's like, you didn't even get the one that I really truly wanted. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I remember putting it together um, a couple months ago. It was pretty sick. Um, and I figured it out then. Oops! And I'll kosher then, but. Alright. Okay, it has a thing upstairs that says close and open. So there we go. And then you've got many of these. And I would suggest you take a permanent marker 
when you find your instructions, when you get the box, open it up, find your instructions, and label all these. Because you know what? They're just sitting here. I could probably use these for something great. I have no idea. Okay, here we go. I have a cat that wants in. Okay, maybe this one goes up here. Yeah, well, okay, then. This is pretty simple. Right? <laughs> Said I haven't done this in quite some time. I had an old bread Tupperware container here for the excess. Ah. When I was cutting out, we were cutting out this kitchen, I had I picked up so many different juicers and blenders and distractors and Oh, it's making the house smell terrific. Can't even explain to you how yummy it smells. But you guys are gonna be laughing your butt off when you see this video. You know I'm usually pretty organized making videos for I got the this. <laughs> That didn't take long at all for this ginger. Pretty juicy. Seems like it's pretty much all liquid. And there's so many benefits. Just go ahead and Google ginger and you will 
just be so happy with everything it does. So again, I'm going to go ahead and rotate it back. Backwards. Forward. This little machine, when it's working, and you got it going good, um, is for finer, finer items like cilantro and ginger. And because uh, your, I think that's pretty much it. Your uh, larger juicer, if you go with the Breville, will eat it up and spit it out and it's gone. We went ahead and removed the bottom of this and Jason built a rolling rack with a hole in it for where a big pot sits in a bag. And um, there's just a thousand things he did with this to help with this Breville. So the Breville sits here when it's clean. And usually this is all clean, but he had extra room, so we made um, for the cutting boards. And he's got my, you know, when you turn into a vegetarian and you don't cook as much, like, per se, and you're trying to eat raw, you uh, have these giant, wonderful machines you used to use all the time that you're not really using anymore. But, okay, that's another story. Um, but I was thrilled, and it rocks, and it rolls, and he has it on locks, and it's just terrific. He did a great job making that, and out of scrap, so. Um, so, nothing really came out of here, so I guess I've got it in here. Let me get back to you on this, and I'll talk to you in a little bit.